bell join the family if you haven't already hey man when you come in here you just come in here crunk every time like <laughs> the energy level i love the energy level i gotta get I love everybody it. excited I'm loving it. okay I'm loving it. get excited i'm loving it <laughs> as y'all can see i have a bj here from asia and bj shout, shout out, out to everybody man <laughs> if y'all aren't love. tapped in make sure y'all go over there and subscribe to the channel over there Absolutely. okay we have a good time as well on asia and bj's channel the link is in the description, okay? Okay, so I'm I'm, finna, I'm trying to get this together. I'm trying to get it squared away right now. You, <laughs> you said, come on in here. We're about to laugh. I got something for you. I got something in store for you. Today what what you got for time. me? Okay, I got Fluffy. I need, okay. Okay, a.k.a. Gabriel Iglesias. Okay? Oh, that's my guy. Yeah, he's so funny, y'all. Okay. <laughs> gift my, my gift basket guy. Oh, gosh. Yeah, <laughs> shout out, shout out. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. So uh, this is Fluffy Visit Saudi Arabia. Uh, from Aloha Fluffy. Gabriel Lagisi is live from Hawaii. Okay. Hawaii. Okay. So, yeah, I'm excited about this, y'all. I ain't finna keep this video long, y'all. This video is long enough. So, go on and get your popcorn ready. Hey, let's go. Let's tap into it. I'm just playing. <laughs> My guy Fluffy. And hey, let's go on and get into this video, y'all. Now. Right. Hey, I could take some more Fluffy. Gabriel Inglesias. Inglesias. Yeah. My agent calls me up and he says, Gabe, check it out. You're getting a request to perform in the Middle East. I go, really? Okay, cool. Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force? Who? Actually, the request is coming from a prince. Run that by me again. A prince. I said, Purple Rain? <laughs> Not prince. A prince. A prince. <laughs> I said, how do they know me? I, I, I don't know, but they say that they know you and they want to hire you. I go, it sounds like a joke, Matt. Trust me, it sounds legit. All right, if it's legit, I'll tell you what. Give whoever a ridiculous figure and let them know that they have to wire the money today. Otherwise, forget it. You know what, though? <laughs> Can you imagine, like, all the calls that he gets and stuff and it's like, oh, today you got a call from Prince. Oh, you got, you got uh, Tyson... Uh, what's what's the guy's name? Uh, the dancer from from the you know what I'm talking about? Okay, I forget his name. Oh my gosh! But dancer like, from what? Uh, uh, Magic Mike. Magic Mike dancer. Oh, uh, Channing Tatum. Yes. Okay. What did I say? Tyson. Okay. Okay. I don't know who Tyson is, but yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> No, but I mean, like, he gets all these calls. Snoop Dogg called him up one time. Okay. You know what I mean? And I can see that, too. I can see that, too, because I, I think I, I heard Snoop talk about Fluffy before, though. Yeah. He get all these, like, random calls from these people, and it's just like, man, I can you only imagine, like... Prince, you know? <laughs> what did he think? Trying to call your manager to book you, like... Yeah, a prince. Snoop. Man, Chet, Chet Tatum. Yeah, tell him to call me back. <laughs> Magic tell him to call Mike. me back. Y'all, I would be like... Sounds like a joke, right? You know what I mean? I'm just saying. <laughs> four hours later, Gabe, what? He's at four Ridiculous hours. Ridiculous just called. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm looking at the screen, bro. They wired all of it. Next thing I know. <laughs> uh -oh. Welcome aboard Saudi Arabian Airlines. I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my way. 17 hour flight, you guys, from Detroit, Michigan to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Wow. And just so you guys know, I didn't go by myself, okay? I took some friends with me. Nobody from this show. <laughs> <laughs> None of y'all. For obvious reasons. Yeah, man, you see the crew that I travel with? Everybody's hairy, big nose, goatee, beard, crazy eyes, this. Are you kidding me? With the, all of us, we're like Osama bin Lopez. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what the hell we are. Okay, look, I don't want to stand out either. I'm just saying. No, they're going to really stand out. 
He said, I ain't trying to take, not this crew. Right? You know what I'm saying? Shoot. Lopez, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, y'all. I don't know what the hell we are. So I took two other friends. I took one friend, his name is Edwin San Juan, who's Filipino, works clean. Oh, yeah. yeah works and clean. another buddy of mine named Larry Omaha, who's Native American, who also works clean. And, uh, all right, so, hell yeah, sure. <laughs> Hold on, I want to look at the camera. Hey, Larry Omaha, Edwin San Juan, you guys have fans and they're here in Hawaii. Get your asses over here. Anyway, um, this is up. So we head to Riyadh. 17 hour flight from Detroit. As soon as we get there, they flew us their first class, by the way. It was really nice. And the plane is pulling up to the gate, and you know, it's doing the whole, you know, and the tube is coming out to meet the plane. As soon as the tube touches the plane, all of a sudden, the door on the opposite side of the plane pops open, and a man in a suit gets on, and he walks over to the three of us, and he does this. And I'm sitting there freaking out like, oh my God, this is like the movies. And they pulled us off the plane and they escorted us to this area called yeah. VIP baggage claim. And it that? sounds kind of crazy, VIP. And I get there and I realize, oh, they're, they're serving cookies and candy and coffee and there's leather sofas and it's really nice. And there's nothing but Middle Eastern businessmen there, okay? And they're all talking about me. I don't understand Arabic, but everyone in this room understands when someone's talking about you. The guy's looking at me and he's like, I'm sorry, but this is universal. And apparently this is Arabic for damn! Fluffy. That's what he's talking about. He said, he's talking about Fluffy right now. Shoot. Yeah, but, Leave Fluffy but, but, alone. but he coming to see the prince. Like when you get off the plane, you're not gonna go where everybody else is going. They're gonna pull you off and be like, oh no, you can you come with us. We're Hold gonna up, escort though. you, you come with nah, us. Nah, yeah. you know, look, don't be getting on the plane telling me. Yeah. The I'm man, gonna be like Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the man in black came and got What you want? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, get all of that. <laughs> So then this other guy walks over to me and he's holding a sign and the sign has my name on it and he's really excited. He's like, it is you, come, 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 it is you, come, 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 we go. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So we grab our luggage and we follow him outside to the curb. They have three Lincoln Navigator mm. SUVs waiting for us. There's three comedians and there's three cars. We're so paranoid that we're in the Middle East, we all get in one car. <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting in there. <laughs> And we take off. Look. We're heading towards downtown Riyadh, okay? Now, all I know up to this point about my experience is that I've already been paid, my flight's been taken care of, and I have a point person who I'm supposed to meet at the airport who's not there. So I'm talking to the driver. I said, excuse me, sir, where's, where's, where's this guy? It is okay. Hey, take it to him. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, okay. And for me, it's not okay because it's not. I researched Saudi Arabia. And, you know, you think the rules in Singapore are strict. <laughs> the rules in Saudi Arabia are very, very different. Okay. And I don't want to offend anyone. And I want to make sure that I don't say the wrong thing. <laughs> so I need to know, you know, some, some, I need some info. So I keep talking to the driver. I said, um, sir, would you mind helping me with some questions? Whatever you need. You ask, I tell you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, I apologize in advance if I come across rude or disrespectful or ignorant, but um, how do you guys know about me here in the Middle East? What do you mean, how do we know? Yeah, how do you know that I'm a comedian? Do you have Comedy Central or HBO or Showtime? What is that? That's a no. That's what that is. That's a no. Uh. <laughs> how do you know that I'm an entertainer? Oh, your videos, YouTube. My friend, YouTube, you're huge. You're the number two most famous comedian in all of the Middle East. Number two. You're kidding. I am not comedian. I don't kid. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm the number two most famous comedian in all of the Middle East. Yes. Who's number one? Jeff Dunham. I don't know. I'm like, who's Jeff Dunham? Jeff Dunham? I don't know who that is. I'm so okay. Yeah, you are gonna tap in with us with that one right there. <laughs> Jeff you Dunham. Say something crazy. Hey, let me know. I have no idea who that is, y'all. He said he number one over <laughs> Fluffy. Okay. <laughs> Jeff Dunham is the number one comedian in the Middle East. 
You guys don't find him at all offensive? <gasps> no! <laughs> I kill you! He joking <laughs> with him. He playing with him. He said, I'm not a kid. He being funny. <laughs> they said Jeff Dunham. Oh, oh! Yeah. And he's saying you don't find him offensive. So maybe he's somebody that probably... is. Says things that's offensive towards them or something like that. Okay. He's making a joke out of that. Is he a real person? Yeah. I'm sure, yeah. When I heard that, you guys, I was like, you know what? They get it. They get it. So I'm like, we're cool. We're sitting, we're driving, we're heading towards downtown. All of a sudden, the driver cuts the wheel really hard and we get off the freeway and now we're taking a side road going away from the city. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, um, excuse me, uh -oh. where are we going? We're going to the show. I go, um, it says here that we're staying in the city. Yes, you're staying in the city, but the show is somewhere else. That doesn't make sense. Why would you have the show somewhere else? How come you don't have it in the city? And then he broke it down. My friend, here in Riyadh, it is very different, okay? Uh, your type of entertainment is forbidden in the city. There are people called religious police that hold up the uh, traditions. They keep it so that it's very traditional. It is not allowed. The social gathering is a no-no. We must go somewhere secret in the desert. <laughs> oh, no. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's like... He got the same face I got. Like, what? The Because <laughs> in my mind, I'm, I, you know... I done flew first class. Y'all didn't treat me like royalty. We didn't hop in, in, in the little navigators or the Lincolns and all that. I'm thinking I'm finna go stay down at the Plus Say, Hotel downtown. You're not finna take me to the... De <laughs> he said the desert. Look at his face, y'all. My face would do the same thing. Wait. Wait. <laughs> take yeah. me back to the air. Yeah, but, but that's how it is. They got... You know, they, they can't... They, they're not having... <laughs> they're not having that type of uh, entertainment in the castle book. Look, but... <laughs> when you don't know what's going on, you don't know what's happening, y'all. Like, I... Hey, yeah. hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? We must go somewhere secret in the desert. Uh, what? <laughs> look, 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 look. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> so how many people are you guys expecting in, at the show? Easily between seven to 800 people. That many? I told you. Number two. <laughs> and sure enough, you guys, we pull up to this racetrack in the middle of the desert. And there's a, there's a giant tent set up next to it. And there's, there's 800 people, roughly, there for a comedy show. And as soon as we pull up, as soon as we pull up, <laughs> radios start popping out. Just like, <laughs> and I keep hearing on all the radios. <laughs> fluffy, <laughs> fluffy, <laughs> fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. All of a sudden, some guy runs up on the stage and they hand him a microphone and he starts yelling to the crowd. I don't know what he's saying, but I've seen enough hip hop to recognize a hype man. <laughs> oh yeah, he's out there. <laughs> and then I get the biggest introduction of my life. And now, direct from the United States of America. Here he is, Gabriel Iglesias. And the crowd starts going, Fluffy, Fluffy, Fluffy. And when I heard that, I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be an amazing show. So I ran to the stage as fast as I could. I'm not a runner. <laughs> I booked it to the stage, you guys, because I was so excited. And when I got to the front, it clicked that in Saudi Arabia, they still have segregation. And I didn't find out till the last second because I saw a line going down the middle. And on one side, men. Other side, women. And all the women in the front row were covered from head to toe. All I saw was this. <laughs> oh yeah, I had no idea I was performing for Assassin's Creed. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> you know about the video game was Assassin's Creed. No, man. <laughs> Since Creed. I didn't know that. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know there was a game called that. <laughs> it threw me off so bad. Give me the And I, hey, what's going on, everybody? How you look, 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 look. <laughs> I froze. I 
I've been doing this for 15 years. I don't freeze, but that threw me off so bad. I didn't know what to say. All of a sudden, men start yelling my jokes at me. My friend, do the donkey, do the donkey. Hey, chocolate cake, chocolate cake. Guy in the front, make fun of me. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and the people started laughing. The women were laughing just as hard as the men. You know, granted, some of them I couldn't see, but for the most part, it's like, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. You know, but they're, they're moving and laughing. I even had fun with one of the girls. I said, oh, I saw your neck. And she said, you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> the Saudis had such an amazing oh sense of humor. They were laughing and carrying on, and I had no idea they were going to be like that. And then after the show, I got a chance to meet some of the locals. And one guy was almost in tears. He was so emotional. Uh. He walks up to me, and he's just like... <laughs> I cannot believe that I am standing here in front of you, Mr. Fluffy. Oh, well, thank you. Please, please, when you return to United States or wherever you travel, let the people know what you saw, okay? Let them know that we are not all bad, that we are not all those bad people from Fox News, okay? <laughs> you let them know, because we see Fox News, and Fox News believes that everybody in Middle East is bad. Everybody's terrorist. Everybody has a bomb. Right. He has a bomb. He has a bomb. He has a bomb. Oprah is here giving away bombs to everybody. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no right way. On. That's what's up, man. Please, you let them know. We are not all bad people, okay? We are not all terrorists. My cousin. Maybe. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look at your face. Look at your face. Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> Hello, hey, buddy. <laughs> Man, oh, I am God. telling y'all. Your cousin? Nah. Fluffy, nah. he can impersonate anything, <laughs> any type of sound. I just love how he just narrates. It's just so animated, man. Yeah, right. Right. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Look at your face. Look at your face. Oh, I'm going to die. Look at you. <laughs> A plane, my cousin, a plane. I got you again! <laughs> two for two, I got you! He is raising my blood pressure every seven seconds. <laughs> he getting nervous. He getting all he nervous. He's breaking it down for me how stand up comedy is starting to bring people together in the Middle East. And how he's starting to, do, you know, he's doing comedy. It's, it was crazy, the conversation. You know, here in, the, in Saudi Arabia, um, uh, people, they, they like uh, watching the, the stand-up comedy because uh, we love to laugh, okay? We love to laugh. It's great to laugh. And uh, people don't think that uh, people in the Middle East have sense of humor. They, they see videos, they see TV, they think we are the same. They say, oh, the Middle Eastern people are all angry. Look at their face, they're angry. Everybody angry, everybody mad, everybody angry. My friend, we're not angry. It's hot. <laughs> okay? It's right. 117 degrees. Ooh. Everybody is not mad. They're hot. Look at everybody has a hot face. Hot face. Everybody hot face. I promise you give me air conditioning. I am so happy. <laughs> wow. We are okay. We love to laugh. I've been doing the stand up comedy for uh, about uh, six months now, and um, I have jokes. Good for you. May I try? Oh, great. Mm. All right, man, go ahead. Okay, very nervous, very nervous. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Two Jews walk into a bar. Not in my country. <laughs> You're like, I gotta go. I gotta get away from y'all. <laughs> Man, you're gonna get my ass arrested, bro. Uh, I gotta get out. <laughs> we wound I up go doing shows all over the Middle East. We were in uh, Riyadh, Bahrain, Dubai, Qatar, Doha, and each show, you guys, was more amazing than the last show. Not because there were so many people, but because the people were friendly. They were fun. They got all the references. I couldn't get over that. I honestly thought that they were gonna be like the people from Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt terrible. I felt terrible because I was judging them. I was prejudging them and I thought that they were going to be a certain way and I felt bad because all those years people were doing that to me, not really giving me a chance and I was over there doing the same thing. Mm. I felt so bad. Mm. And then when I met the prince, I was still judging. 19 years old and he's a prince. I thought he was going to be a brat. He walks up to me and I was already like, what's up? <laughs> I failed to realize that he's a prince and he was brought up to be a prince. 
the way he carried himself, he intimidated me in about 18 seconds. <laughs> okay, I'm 36. And I'm, you know, what's up? And he's like, Jibril. <laughs> Excuse me? Jibril. Jibril? Gabriel. <laughs> I understand that your name is Gabriel, but in the Arabic language, your name is Jibril. I was welcoming you in our language. Oh! <laughs> I'm a dick. <laughs> And I started already imagining what was going to happen. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And he was so nice, you guys. He's like, I want to thank you for coming here to Riyadh and doing all of these shows. It was so beautiful to see everyone having such an amazing time from wow. the little children in attendance all the way to the elderly people with the cane. Everyone had an amazing time. Everyone. It was beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Religious people laughing. Religious police laughing. They don't laugh at shit. <laughs> I want you to understand how big this is. There was an American here entertaining people from Middle East. There was no violence, no bloodshed, no problems. Everybody was smiling. Everybody was getting along. It is okay. possible. An American was here. An American was here. He kept saying American, American, American. Freaking 10 years being called a Latino comic. I had to go all the way around the world to finally get called American. <laughs> Talk I was there, talk, excited. Lucky. I was like, say it again, American. Ah! <laughs> and then I had the most surreal conversation I have ever had with the person. He looks at me and he says, I want to thank you for everything. I want to invite you and your friends to come to my palace oh. so that I may entertain you. So, what, what we need hey. to go? What we need to go? You need us to go right now? Hey, pull the Lincolns up. Let's go. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You got you, what we taking? The horses, the the, the camels, meals, the camels. How we about to get there? <laughs> hey, what you need us to do? We on our way right now? Hey, <laughs> now I don't know. I don't know about I don't know about the camel for for fluffy. Look, man. I don't know about the camel for fluffy. <laughs> we didn't already see how that turned out for a few people. Not the camel. We're gonna get the Lincolns. We're gonna we're gonna head out to the city. We're gonna go to the palace. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I am not getting invited to a palace by a prince. Oh, my God. Up until this point, my only experience with royalty was a Burger King drive through Say, bro. <laughs> right? All of a sudden, one of those SUVs pulls up. <laughs> and a guy jumps out in a suit. And I guess his favorite word was please, because that's all he said. Please. 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 <laughs> Please. Please. Okay. They knew we was that Please. I'm like, are you kidding me? There's a man in a suit trying to get me in the back of a Lincoln Navigator, and there's a prince inviting me to his palace. I'm not going to lie. I felt like a hot chick. I was like, oh my God, let's go. <laughs> Hurry up, bitch. Let's go. All right. Okay. Sure, hurry up. <laughs> Uh, we get to the front of his palace, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, it didn't look like a palace. The walls are really high, there's barbed wire around the entire property, and there's two guys in the front with machine guns. I'm looking at this and I'm like, this doesn't look like a palace. <laughs> and I started thinking, what if I'm on some messed up episode of Middle Eastern punt? You know what I mean? Like, you thought you go to palace, you go to prison, you're punt! <laughs> Fortunately, the doors opened up and we drive in and then they closed and when we got outside you guys what we saw was amazing Outside desert inside Palm trees bushes shrubs a pond and he had exotic pets. I know exotic pets because I know what I have <laughs> Okay Over there He's got a tiger <laughs> zebra monkeys and he had a freaking boa constrictor i'm like are you kidding me snakes monkeys a zebra and a tiger oh my god that makes me kung fu panda <laughs> <laughs> kung fu panda 
Fluffy, come on, no, bro. Man. And I started thinking, what if he decides <laughs> to keep me? It sounds messed up, but let me explain. As an American, you cannot just purchase an airline ticket to go to Saudi Arabia. You have to be invited by a person of power. You know, when I mm. left Detroit to go over there. Oh, I didn't know that. You I've have heard, to be invited by a person of power to go to Saudi Arabia. I've heard about entertainers wow. being invited. And a lot of times when it's an entertainer, it's always they get invited by like the royal family, like a prince or somebody like that. It's yeah. always that. So so do they plan out all the events and stuff too? Like the actual they probably, they probably have where a, the they, power is? Yeah, they probably have a big hand in like bringing like entertainment to the to the state, to the country, things yeah. like that. So Oh. Yeah, probably okay. so. Mm-hmm. There, I had to fill out a form that says I understand that I'm going to Saudi Arabia mm. and should something happen to me one of those things on the list being kidnapping conveniently right above death <laughs> America is not responsible the prince could have actually you're mine <laughs> two weeks later now he's showing someone else around right that is my snake that is my zebra that is my Mexican <laughs> that is my tiger <laughs> Inside of some little box that says Jibril. <laughs> <laughs> Flappy. <laughs> Flappy. But it never happened. And we're walking around. And I actually pulled him aside for a second. I said, listen, uh, I got to tell you something. Well, you tell me. I, I need to apologize. What did you do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I just want to apologize for coming here with the wrong mentality. I says, unfortunately, I thought that uh, <laughs> just... You know, because it is the Middle East, I thought you guys were going to be rude. And everybody's been nothing but nice. Huh? I know. <laughs> I didn't think you guys were going to speak English so well and understand, you know, so many references. And you guys get everything. Huh? I know. <laughs> I thought you guys were going to throw rocks. But you were funny. <laughs> Good thing you was funny. <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> Twitter three, where? <laughs> so we're walking, and uh, he's showing me this and that, and we're just kind of like looking around. I thought it was great, and then I saw something that freaked me out. We're walking in the direction of a giant cage, and when I saw the cage, I stopped. I was like, "Ah, uh, uh -oh. what's with the cage?" Take a look. Oh. Great. <laughs> so I walk over towards the cage, and I look inside. And I noticed that there's birds in there. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, it's a bird cage. And he got all offended, you know. That's not regular birds. Those are falcons. I go, okay, well, you have a lot of falcons. Uh, we use the falcons for hunting. You hunt falcons? No, 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 no. Each falcon is very expensive. 100,000 US dollars. They are trained. We go out and we shoot a little animal. And we send a falcon to retrieve. Would you like to see? No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I got little dogs. I don't want to. <laughs> Bye, Bruno. <laughs> Before I know it, here comes the other guy. Please, please, please. There we go. And he goes inside the cage and he puts on this leather glove that comes up to his elbow and he starts getting one of the falcons. I'm watching him do this and I notice all the falcons are on these perches about this high and there's about 15 in a row and they all have hoods covering their eyes. And I asked them, why do they have hoods on their eyes, man? They look like little hostages. <laughs> Shit. That's the wrong word. That's the wrong thing. In this scenario where he's at with the friends. He said looking like little hostages. Knowing that they knowing that knowing that they won't be responsible for the kidnapping. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They look like little hostages. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I meant no disrespect by that, man. <laughs> Seriously. No. No disrespect. I, it was a slip. And he was cool. I understand. Middle East hostage. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Okay. Look, 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 look. Okay. Poker face. So the other guy comes out and he's got a falcon with him and he's got a glove and he hands me the glove and I put it on and he transfers his falcon to my arm. And uh, all of a sudden he starts doing snapping things and he's basically showing me that the falcon's trained. And I thought that was great. I thought we were going to kill something. I'm like, no, but we were just playing with the falcon. And I started getting excited. You know, and the more excited I got, the more the prince started showing his age. Because mm. then he got excited. I'm like, this is great. It is great. Yes, this is so cool. So cool. Oh my God, you're so lucky to have so many falcons. I am so lucky. Would you like a falcon? <laughs> so matter of fact, like, would you like a cookie? Would you like a falcon? Same way. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? 
Don't give me a falcon that can retrieve things. Shoo, you think I'm lazy now. <laughs> okay. Hell no. Don't give me a... Uh, uh, uh. I wouldn't even leave the house. I'd be at the front door. <laughs> Donuts. <Hey. laughs> right. And who the hell is going to watch my falcon when I'm up here performing? I can't leave it with my buddy Martin in the back. You know he would abuse it, take it to some nightclub, try to hook up with it. <laughs> Redhead. <laughs> and go get her. Ah, no, he is bro. A mess. No, man, he, he, is man a mess. he is such so animated the way that he just like breaks stuff down <laughs> and, and he just creates, you know, like adds the animation into the act too. Like with everything yeah. that he do is like it is like a masterpiece the way right. that he do it. Yeah. And it's so like like the timing that he does it too. Right. You know I would I mean? agree. I would agree. At, like the way he tells, it's just something like you said. It's the narration of how he actually tells the story. Yeah. But I think it's also like he 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 makes it so like personalized. <laughs> like it is his actual story. It's just like how he adds in those little those those the the little spurts of like comedy in between mm -hmm. it all. Like mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean? Because you like, can tell a story, but it's how you tell it. You know? Yeah. It's all about how you do it. It's all yeah. about how you do it. Anyway, so I really, really enjoyed that. I thought, I mean, and he's right. I feel like, you know, that's one of those things that you kind of have to experience to be like, man, like my mindset was completely different than what I thought. It, like, how many times have you done something like you went in with a mind frame of like, oh, I know this is about to be boring. I know I'm about to go to sleep. I know this is, you know or, what I'm saying? I'm about to be around these, these types of certain types of people or yeah. something like that. And, and then you, go you actually go in and you notion. have a really good time, like. You come out with a different attitude, like, dang, like, I wish I wouldn't have even had the attitude I did before I even went into it. Like, maybe I would have, you know what I mean? Like, it would have just been different coming into it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But coming out, so. And see, and, and when you have those types of experiences, it makes you more outgoing to where, yeah. you know, you have those more optimistic, um, you know, situations before you go into them. You, you're a little more optimistic. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, like, it's a growing experience. And you really get a lot of it out of the experience as well, yeah. like overall. So I enjoyed that. It was it was actually something to take from that action. So, hey. Absolutely. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this. But if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Join the family. Absolutely. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video y'all <laughs> bye y'all